welcome back guys to Monterey Car Week. I am here in Monterey, California and we and today is the Quail Gathering. Basically, it's a really exclusive car show. I'm going to take you all on it so you guys can see the cars. I went last year, I made a video on it, but today is going to be an even better video. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> This is the car we rented. This is a 2020 Maserati Ghibli. I really wanted to experience this car because behind it is all like the hate and everything. So I really wanted to like experience all of like the hate behind it. And to be honest with you, I'll co I'm coming out with a full review on this car. But uh, so far, uh, I'm not even gonna give you. It's so far, it's all right. But it's tan with on white and it does sound pretty good so right now we are going to head out very very soon to the quail so see you guys welcome then. back guys to the quail as you can see take a look we have vip exclusive access two hours before the show starts without further ado uh let's go and take a look at some of these cars out there onto the lawn as you can see I'm dressed very very specially with the poor shoes on as you can see so yeah look at this like full-on collection of cars wow let's head over to Lamborghini first this. so we're at Lamborghini right now casual Aventador this is the finale edition of Aventador right over there right next to it underneath there we have the brand new Lamborghini Countach about to unveil and then right beside it we have the new looks like some sort of lamborghini race car and then a uh huracan evo but in three lamborghini countaches but we're definitely going to come back and check out, check that out over here we have the bugatti stand there are three amazing bugattis here we have a chiron world record super sport we have the blind in the middle i mean I just can't stop looking at that ball light. I mean, just look at the headlights and then the scoop. I, Sorry, I can't go closer. It's barricaded. And then over here we have another variation of the Bugatti Chiron. I mean, just take a look of just these three cars all together. It's something you definitely don't see every day. A blue and bronze Bugatti Chiron. Check that out. Oh, that is very nicely specced. All right, let's get, move away from the Bugattis and move on to some other stuff here because there is just so much. Now we just made it to the Koenigsegg stand. They have three amazing cars. They have a Koenigsegg, a Gera, Regera. They have the Yesco behind there and then the Gymera, which I've seen already at the McLaren Cars and Coffee back in Boston. But I, and same thing with the Yesco, but this Regera is just amazing. Fully forged carbon. You can, it's actually switched on right now, you can hear it, but fully forged, uh, fully full, expo fully exposed carbon fiber is what I meant to say. I mean, then we have the Yesco right behind there, and then the Jamera, or the Gamera, however you want to say it, but very, very cool to see just these three all together. And then underneath there is a Ferrari F40, but, I mean, take a look at this. is the name of it. The CEO of Rimac is talking, but I'll get there in a minute. But take a look at these the Rolls Royce booth here. They have a like almost like a seafoam green colonin and then a uh, pink Rolls Royce ghost. But I mean, I just took a look at the interiors of these things, and these things are like so beautiful looking. I completely understand why Rolls Royce is so appreciated, appreciated because I mean, just look at these. I mean, they do look kind of boring on the outside, but the quality and everything is just fantastic. This out, guys. This is the new Audi Sky Steer concept. It's like a full-on electric supercar, and I'm just. 
take, I'm just blown away. This makes our Q8 look like it's from 1947. I mean, look at this thing. Wow. And then check out the inside. Fully autonomous, and if you put it in sport mode, the, the front actually shrinks and a steering wheel comes out. But, I mean, just check this out. Whoa. Look at this P1, green P1 GTR over here, next to all these older antique cars. 2015 McLaren P1. So it looks like a GTR conversion kit or something like that. Yeah, has to be. But very cool to see this. It's in, it is not fully exposed carbon, but it has fully exposed carbon on the doors and on the splitter, but very, very unique color combo. I mean, just take a look at that. Very cool. And over there, we are going to head and go take a look at a very cool electric car. I don't know if you car. can hear me, but the Venom F5 by Hennessy just started up. Great. I'm actually trying to film. Uh, it's kind of ironic because I'm actually trying to film an electric car company and a very, very loud supercar is um, over, uh, interrupting me from talking. Shut up. Let me let me film this. First. Over here is the Lucid stand, and as you can see, Lucid is basically an electric car company that rivals Tesla. I know people that got fired from Tesla work for them. And fun fact: when we were looking at buying an electric car, with like, uh, uh, which is the Model Three right now, we were looking at the Lucid Air as well. Unfortunately, they just came out 2021 they're coming out in 2022 as you can see it is a pre-production car it says but but yeah it is a very very good looking car i honestly kind of wish we didn't go with the model 3 and they went, we yeah, went with yeah, it. very cool to see the lucid air here it makes me even more wish more that we went with this than the model 3 but i'm very happy with the model 3 now but yeah obviously very cool to see this here um i saw this car actually two years ago in the concept form and it's really cool to see it like now in full almost production this form. is a ferrari 812 super fast but it has as you can see it's not like an ordinary 812 super fast it has a full mansory body kit this is a body kit made by those people mansory and it's basically forged fully forged carbon so the everything forged carbon is basically by mansory the side skirts the rear bumper that ginormous forged carbon wing the wing mirror caps even down to the vents and the ferrari logo are forged carbon and look at this hood how half of it's forged carbon the half of it is and it kind of has more of a la ferrari style front end i really do dig it especially with these wheels let's take a look at the back of it yeah look like even the top here is forged carbon even like the lights caps and everything are forged carbon oh my god and you can't really see inside because the windows are tinted but it's full-on red interior with forged carbon too this is definitely one special car here. I mean, like, compared to like the normal A12 super fast, all the way over there. Yeah, you can see that this is definitely, definitely different and definitely a lot more cooler and more unique and better looking than to the A12 all the way over see that. Right over here, you have a Ferrari F40. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of these, and we are. I've already seen already one here, but as you can see full-on red interior with the competition seats, gated six-speed manual. These are cool. These are always cool. I think the F40 is definitely going to be the last, like, raw Ferrari that Enzo Ferrari made when he was still alive. We have a Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta. So this is basically a... Uh, convertible version of the Ferrari 458 Speciale. Um, there are only 499 of these ever in existence, and 
This is one of my favorite color schemes that it comes in. The yellow with the navy blue with the white accents on it. Very cool. Um, ouch. Um, as you can see. But just take a look at that. That is very cool. Yeah, Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta Carbon Fiber Vents Accents Black Wheels with the Navy Blue Calipers And look at that interior, Navy Blue with the Yellow with the cool competition seats I think at least what they're called, competition seats Very cool to see, very very cool to see And there's so much more here as well Over here we have a Ferrari 812 GTS So this is the convertible version of the Ferrari 812 We saw one of these at Tutto Italiano back in Massachusetts And then right next to it is an OG Ferrari F430 OG color spec stock red Red calipers, OG wheels, and then the OG tan interior. <laughs> These are definitely some special cars, especially in this spec. It's definitely like more of the original spec for an F430, definitely. But I believe those are called the Daytona seats, so obviously the, the better looking seats in this as well. Very, very cool. And it's nice to see a stock one too, because most of these are modified. Two very nice F12s over here. This white one is called the TDF. So definitely the last like finale Ferrari F12 ever made. And right beside it, we have an F12, just a normal stock F12 right by it. But very cool to see both of these next to each other. Over here, we're at the roof stand, and as you can see, I, I believe this is called a Roof CRT3 and this actually did the Gumball 3000 which is really cool Cool to see one of the actual cars do the Gumball 3000 ever since I actually can't ever go to it And then there are two other roofs. I believe the yellow one is a CTR3 Yellowbird So as I said, we did get here early So I'm gonna try to catch the Lamborghini unveiling of the new Countach for you guys and more or sir but right now we are gonna go and head to pagani so let's head there straight away we are over here in basically the basically the unicorn section of the quail and there are some absolutely amazing cars here and we are gonna go walk through every single one of them so here let's we go. have a porsche 935 so this is actually based on the gt2 rs it's actually one of the first like long tail 911s Just like look at all like of the carbon fiber like big piece like the mirrors and the wheels that is very 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 good looking wow i've never seen one ever in my life this is actually the first one i've ever seen you can actually buy a 935 it actually comes fully exposed carbon fiber and then you can pay to have these different wraps on it so this one has the um has like the martini style wrap on it and as you can see like those are scratches on the on the on the actual wrap on the actual car the entire the entire car is fully exposed carbon fiber which is just insane i mean look at this wing l r mclaren it's like a metal flake black matte black so these are very cool black on black SLR McLaren. Those. These are these are cool. You'll never know that this is an SLR because it's actually D badge, but it's very uh, this is definitely very, very cool and apparently if it's if that license plate is true, this has to be the the fifth SLR. Let's look at the VIN. Yeah, fifth SLR ever made. This this is a unicorn, McLaren P1, fully exposed carbon and yellow, two-tone. This 
So this is actually an ex a prototype P1, which is interesting because I never actually knew that after seeing the side of it. But I think the P1, in my opinion, is probably the best hypercar out of the, the out of like all the hypercars out of the trio ever out of the out of all hypercars. I think the P1 is definitely the best one of all time. It's the VP4 experimental prototype. I mean, look at the carbon fiber glisten in the sun. That's definitely a sight. Very cool. I mean, look at that. Right next to it, we have a 720S Spider and a 570S, but over here is right beside it is something even more special. This is the McLaren Elva. So you can get one without a windshield, but this one has the windshield. I like it with the windshield. I think it makes it more look more supercar-y, more daily drivable. And the interesting back thing about back here is that it's not all fully exposed carbon fiber like the 600 LT. This is the it, just the diffuser's carbon fiber. Four exhaust pipes. One, two, three, and then four. Take a look at those seats. Full on like matte blue almost. That is cool. That is very, very cool. Here we have a nice group of Lamborghinis. You can tell that this is a Murcielago Spider just because of the shape of it. Another Murcielago uh, Spider or Roadster. Then this is a Huracan Evo. I know it's definitely a special edition. Yeah, the GT Celebration. So we saw this car last year at the Quail. Um, very cool to like see. Um, and again, not too big of a fan of the colors, but we'll go with it. Uh, that plate, I love it. A Verde Ithaca Gallardo Performante Spider. Then under that cover is just some concept car. No idea. And then a Heritage Ford uh, GT which is also very cool to see as well. And if you, here's an OG supercar. This is a 2009 Audi R8 and it is a V8. This is just such a classic. And take a look at this. It's a pretty standard spec, no carbon fiber base side blades. I'm actually really happy this is here because this is just something that, I mean, is really well respected and really well aged really well. I mean, this is a thing from 2009 and it is still one of the best supercar buys today. Mercedes Benz AMG GTR Speed Legend, one of five. So this is one of five in the world, and it's basically an AMG GTR, but with the roof chopped off. Mad respect for Mercedes here. This thing is just wicked. I mean, look at that right behind it. We have a fully exposed carbon fiber 4 GT. Carbon fiber, X body, and then carbon fiber wheels as well. Wow. And I think this is probably one of my favorite fully exposed carbon cars ever. And this car also has the Akrapovich exhaust as well. I'm digging this. I am digging this. 2021 Corvette. There's the SSC 2 Atara, as you can see. This was the actual one that got like world record broken, well, quote unquote. And then over here, the Elva just started up. We have Project Sandboxes. This is like the off-road 911 I saw all over Instagram. 
and then I'm gonna show you guys one more car and then we gotta get to the unveiling of the uh, new Dia uh, the new this is a Rosa Cantus Diablo and I have to say this paint color is the exact same paint color that Stradman's Aventador SV uh, wide body is he it actually isn't an SV uh, same color of Stradman's Lamborghini Aventador and I mean this call color on camera does not do it justice it had it's like a reddish pink with a purple flake in it this is definitely my favorite Lamborghini color of all time I mean just take a look at that in the sun Whoa. Here at the Pagani stand, we have a lineup of two covered, but they look like Huayras, a Huayra Roadster, and then the King's Huayra. Uh, obviously, fully exposed carbon fiber on this one. Let me just take a look at that. I've seen this car many times, but it's amazing to see it again. Bam, the King. Then we have a two wire BCs, one in a red tinted carb, fully exposed carbon fiber, and then one green tinted fully exposed carbon fiber. I mean, just check out that carbon fiber work with the green tint. But in my opinion, I would go with the red tint. I think it just looks more cooler and more unique, and it stands out a lot more. All carbon. And then as I say that, with all the red carbon there is a another red huayra bc all the way over there as well and then a yellow huayra uh roadster bc up on here i mean look at the back of that thing that right is now we're on the way to the lamborghini countach unveiling because obviously that's something that i definitely want to get for you guys uh we're gonna get there half an hour early so we can get front row tickets or not tickets uh viewing to see this thing here we are yeah, let's get let's find a good spot up here right by all these countaches yeah this is the spot wow <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Lamborghini Countach. But why? I gotta be honest, from the back, not a huge fan. The front does look pretty awesome. So there you guys go. That was the new Lamborghini Countach. What do you think? I like it from the front, the back, not so much. So we're gonna keep going and see what the state really cool is that I also just met Parker from Vehicle Virgin. I'll put a picture up right here. Very cool, awesome guy. Um, Man, I'm super nice. Keep up the good work, Parker. Check this out. This is the new Lotus Amera, I think is how it's pronounced. This is really cool. I actually wasn't a big fan of Lotuses. I honestly thought that they were just kind of overrated. But after seeing this, I actually really, really disagree. Yeah, it's called the Amera. Very modern, very good looking, especially in this blue. Min engine as always. This thing looks like it could get, it looks like this thing has potential to compete against some of the other the higher sports cars and supercars. You take a look at that. First edition. There's the interior, obviously very new, modern, simple. Very good closer look. look of the Chiron Per Sport with the bronze accents. You can see that this is all paint with bronze accents, which is beautiful. Look at the back of it. You can see how it's different from the Chiron with the wing, which I actually really like on this car. And then the quad exhausts, which are now in this like cover, which looks very good. You get a good look at the carbon and the black accents and the chrome. And then the updated front bumper with the number on it and a meaner front end. We have this green Chiron Super Sport, so it's actually longer than a normal Chiron, as you can see. Like, here's the back end of the Chiron Super Sport, 
and then the normal purse form. So as you can see, it's actually longer so it can get more aerodynamic, faster top speed. <laughs> this is like a Porsche green almost. Like, I can't really describe it, but look how longer, the long tail at the end of it. The carbon and then the front end which looks very similar, the meter front end which looks similar to the Chiron uh, Pro Sport. The holes for the vents. Look at that. That is wicked. Check out all the aero that's going on back here. You have this diffuser down here as you can see and you have this diffuser up here and then this, then this giant gap that you can see through the engine. These big girthy tires and you have the quad exhaust. Then more aero and then more aero and then more vents. You can see how all the vents and everything just all ev all of this really just ties together to make this thing look absolutely insane i mean this veneno style wing has a w16 engine check out the interior of this thing guys look how stripped out and all the carbon there is i can feel it in my glasses but i'm thinking like how do you wow that is just epic. Last quick facts about this thing. So I said, as I said, W16 engine over 1800 horsepower. And since this is an absolute, since this is a one-off, it will never ever go into production. So that means that it is definitely worth a lot of money. So okay, comparing to like the per sport where it costs around 1.8 million, this thing, this ball eyed costs over $10 million estimated it's not an actual um it's not an actual production model but again very cool to see let's move on to some final things these out this is the new acura nsx type s so they're, they're going to be filling 350 of these and i always think the nsx is a really really underrated supercar but these Th this can really just does show that maybe these will get a lot more popular. I really love the front end. I think the front end is well well updated as you can see and definitely I think that these are definitely going to be show a lot more on the road after the Type S has been out. I really think that Acura's performance around a whole is very, very underrated and I think should be recognized a lot more. But check it out, you have all the carbon fiber at the front of it. And it's actually like really, really subtle almost. You have nice 20 inch wheels and the back which looks very, very similar to the last year's. Fail 2021, I hope you guys do enjoy. Tomorrow we have auctions and I can't wait to share that all the cars getting auctioned off with you guys tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. And comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace out.